the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 285, Matthew 14 to 16. Jesus is a healing ministry. Jesus performed many miracles, and this was his method of approaching the Word of God and teaching the people to love their neighbors. First point, ever since creation, God has continuously healed us. Matthew recorded thoroughly of how Jesus spent a great deal of his public life, healing the sick and also teaching them about God's love. Matthew also recorded the death of John the Baptist, as well as Jesus' merciful heart towards the weak and poor. Matthew pointed out that John the Baptist came to the world to prepare for the appearance of Jesus Christ. When this happened, Jesus left to avoid Herod and his men, and took a boat to reunite with his disciples. Many people followed Jesus on his way. Jesus was merciful towards them, and he did not hesitate to heal each and every one of them. As such, we can see how Jesus healed and fed countless people. Among many of Jesus' miracles, the miracle of the five loaves of bread and two fish is exemplary. The reason for this miracle was firstly because Jesus did not want to just send them home. Secondly, Jesus wanted to teach his disciples about the mission. Thirdly, Jesus wished to show them that he was the bread of life. After performing this miracle, Jesus went to a quiet place to pray in the mountains. That night, Jesus and his disciples met a great storm, and it was here that Jesus walked on water. Peter immediately tried to follow Jesus. Seeing this, the disciples confessed that Jesus was indeed the Son of God. Jesus then healed more sick people. Second point, the Sanhedrin assembly sent their Pharisees and teachers of the laws to Galilee where Jesus was in order to start a debate. When news about Jesus spread all throughout Judea, the whole of the Sanhedrin assembly, as well as Herod's Antipas, started to feel threatened by Jesus. Before then, it was only the Sadducees and the Pharisees who personally questioned and debated with Jesus. But now, the scale of the threat grew. The Sanhedrin assembly went as far as to send some of their Pharisees and teachers of the laws to where Jesus was in order to investigate what was going on. When they met Jesus, they started to question about the traditions of the elders. Jesus replied by asking them why they cared so much about the traditions when they did not care to keep God's laws properly. Jesus replied to the fifth law in the Ten Commandments. Jesus then rebuked them. Jesus replied to Coban, the act of devoting one's possessions to God, but in fact, not paying back borrowed money or financially supporting one's parents. As such, Jesus rebuked those who denied their parents, but still debated on the matter of tradition. God's laws had its foundation in the love. People should have for one another and for God. However, as time went by, the people had interpreted the laws as they wished, and set their commandments above God's commandments. Third point, Jesus used his sacred hands to heal the sick. Jesus had three steps in healing the sick. The first was a merciful heart. Through this, he restored the people and healed them. The second was his spirituality. 
he healed the people with God's spiritual powers. The third was with his two hands. On one occasion, Jesus went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Here, Jesus heard the outcry of a Canaanite woman. To this, Jesus did not answer back softly. Eventually, the girl was healed through the faith of her mother, and Jesus praised her mother's faith. After healing her, Jesus continued to heal many more people. Thus, they praised the God of the Israelites. Jesus then fed more people with a sympathetic heart. Fourth point, the Sadducees and Pharisees were different groups, but they came together to go against Jesus. One day, some Sadducees and Pharisees came to test Jesus and asked him for a sign. To them, Jesus provided his answer. The Sadducees and Pharisees were normally different groups. To firstly look at the Sadducees, they were financially prestigious. They did not believe in resurrection, only believed in the Pentateuch, only cared for the Jerusalem temple and were largely responsible for nailing Jesus on the cross. To secondly look at the Pharisees, they were financially comfortable, believed in resurrection as well as angels and spirits believed in all 39 books in the Old Testament, were self-righteous and were also largely responsible for nailing Jesus on the cross. What they had in common was their hypocrisy. They also rebuked Jesus together. Fifth point, after Peter's spiritual confession, Jesus started to publicly talk about his ministry of the cross. Peter made a spiritual confession to Jesus. Peter confessed that Jesus was the Son of God, and then Jesus told him about the suffering he would endure soon. When Jesus predicted his death and Peter tried to stop him, Jesus also rebuked Peter and told Satan to get behind him. This was the same thing Jesus said to Satan when he tested him in the desert. As such, Jesus told his disciples of the suffering he was soon to endure. Jesus, moreover, told them about his resurrection, ascension, and then his second coming. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.